Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And uh, I picked this thing up more out of curiosity than anything. Uh, however, I do have occasional use for something like that if it doesn't break on me. This is a, a sanitary adjustable wrench by, by, um, by adjustable wrench. Product features, suitable for cleaning. Wash basin and pipe nuts do not injure the ornamental pipe and nut, such as gold-plated, copper, small space, more convenient to use, and large volume, 6 to 68 millimeters, which is pretty big. Um, this thing was 10 bucks. It's made of aluminum, as far as I can tell, uh, and it's it looks like it's spray painted. In fact, they might have held it right here. Um, you know, <laughs> as they're they're spraying it, I guess I don't know. Um, but anyway, it's it's designed more for plastics or, uh, as they say, ornamental plumbing fixtures, where you just need um, a big grip in a small area. And it is a little slippery here. I read reviews; they were all over the place. Uh, a lot of people said they tried, they broke them. I'm, what I did is I stuck it in a vise, or stuck this big, this bolt in a vise, uh, and then tried a bunch of t different ways to see if I could stress the jaws. Um, and anything that I need it for, I don't think it'll break. Um, but I could see if you grabbed a big heavy metal bolt and then reefed on this thing. Yeah, it'd probably shatter. That's not what it's for. This is what it's for. Sometimes grabbing larger things, this is a 300 millimeter Cobra here. And as you can see, this is even wider than the 300 Cobra. The 250 is way smaller. Um, or if you compare it to a lot of kind of my usual go-tos, the wide mouth adjustable wrenches. Here's a, the channel lock. Uh, this is one of their code blues. Uh, I believe. Yeah. Um, I like these. Um, and then here's a, a snap-on version of their wide mouth, but nowhere near. It's a whole different world. So grabbing different kinds of fixtures, it does not work very well, you know, grabbing like on this propane tree tea. Um, that's really where you need to go to, uh, you know, something that's got jaws. If you really get these things stuck, that's, that's what's helpful there. This is pretty slippery. I may grind it down. I might even hash this a little bit just to put some something there. I haven't decided what I'm going to do, but um, overall, very light tool, very, very small swing. You know, if you think about being here, you're only out about, I don't know, four and a half, five inches probably. Um, and it's it was a $10 tool. Of course, um, there are all kinds of these alloy um, fitting tools, especially slimline ones for different alloy fixtures. Um, but I, what I need it more for is when I'm wedged in somewhere um, that I can get a hold of something to get it started, uh, such as, you know, like this fixture here, um, just to begin or loosen. It, it is pretty slippery on the side, but it is a $10 tool. Um, you know, working with brass fittings, things like that. I'm not as usually as worried about kind of bunging them up a little, but it's more there's not room to work, but you need a big tool to get in there. So, you know, I mean, that's just, I may not have any, any real swing there. You go to something smaller and it may not be room. Um, I'm playing around with different pipe wrenches too, so you'll see a video on that, but the depth of these is, is pretty limited. You know, I can get it to work there, but, you know, hit the end. Got to go to the larger ones. But anyway, I thought you might be interested in what one of these was actually like. Um, it, it is quite light. Uh, I can see, you know, obviously places that uh, there could be a problem. I think the ones where people said that they broke the jaws, I imagine maybe the foraging had bubbles or, you know, some problem. Um, very light, very simple tool. Um, but for 10 bucks. Uh, if you're working with these larger plastic fixtures, plumbing, things like that, under sink work, just need to break something loose and do the rest by hand, and you don't need, you know, the grip of a Cobra or something like that, um, that's a worthwhile solution. Real simple little tool. There'll probably be some other uses I'll find for it. It's not a high leverage tool by any means, um, but for a, for a $10 wide mouth adjustable wrench, um, it was worth exploring. I'm glad I did. With that, Doc out.